My dear, sweet child, that's what I do. It's what I live for, to help unfortunate merfolk like yourself. Poor souls with no one else to turn to. I admit that in the past I've been a nasty. They weren't kidding when they called me well a witch. But you'll find that nowadays I've mended all my ways, repented, seen the light, and made a switch. True, yes. And I fortunately knew a little magic. It's a talent that I always have possessed. And here lately, please don't laugh, I use it on behalf of the miserable, lonely, and depressed. Pathetic. Poor unfortunate souls in pain, in need. This one longing to be thinner, that one wants to get the girl, and do I help them? Yes, indeed. Those poor unfortunate souls, so sad, so true. They come flocking to my cauldron, crying, spells, Ursula, please, and I help them. Yes, I do. Now it's happened once or twice. Someone couldn't pay the price, and I'm afraid I had to rake them across the goals. Yes, I've had the odd complaint, but on the whole, I've been a saint. To those poor, unfortunate souls. Now, here's the deal. I will make you a potion that will turn you into a human for three days. Got that? Three days. Now listen, this is important. Before the sun sets on the third day, you've got to get dear old Princey to fall in love with you. That is, he's got to kiss you. Not just any kiss. The kiss of true love. If he does kiss you before the sun sets on the third day, you'll remain human permanently. But if he doesn't, you turn back into a mermaid, and you belong to me. No, Ariel! <laughs> Have we got a deal? If I become human, I'll never be with my father or sisters again. That's right. But you'll have your man. <laughs> Life's full of tough choices, isn't it? <laughs> oh, and there is one more thing. We haven't discussed the subject of payment. You can't get something for nothing, you know. But I don't have I'm any... not asking much. Just a token, really, a trifle. You'll never even miss it. What I want from you is... Your voice. My voice? You've got it, sweet cakes. No more talking, singing, zip. But without my voice, how can I... You'll have your looks, your pretty face, and don't underestimate the importance of a body language. <laughs> the men up there don't like a lot of blabber. They think a girl who gossips is a bore. Yes, on land it's much preferred for ladies not to say a word, and after all, dear, what is idle prattle for? Come on, then, not all that impressed with conversation. True gentlemen avoid it when they can. But they don't in swoon and fawn on a lady who's withdrawn. It's she who holds her tongue who gets a man. Come on, you poor unfortunate soul. Go ahead, make your choice. I'm a very busy woman, and I haven't got all day. It won't cost much. Just your voice, your poor unfortunate soul. It's sad, but true. If you want to cross a bridge, my sweet, you've got to pay the toll. Take a gulp and take a breath and go ahead and sign the scroll. Got some jetsam, now I've got her, boys. The boss is on a roll.